These are Nadja, Fritz and Malte. They are all living in different parts of the world, but they have a common interest, which is solving rare genetic disorders. This morning, when Nadja was going to work, she saw a mouse taking a bite from a mushroom she had never seen before. Later on, Malte, Fritz and Nadja were scheduled for a web meeting because they had to prepare a presentation about crowdsourced genome analysis for a conference. Malte was running a bit late and so Nadja and Fritz were chit-chatting. She posted the picture of the mushroom and Fritz mentioned that he once saw a dead animal lying next to a mushroom just of that kind. When Malte joined their meeting, he also saw the picture of the mushroom and pointed out the similarity to a fly agaric. For a risk assessment about the edibility of the mushroom, these three independent observations could have been very helpful. The majority would have classified the mushroom as toxic. Actually, this was also pretty much the topic of their scientific talk. How do you get variants of unknown clinical significance out of their limbo state? Nadja, Fritz and Malte believe that this challenge can only be successfully mastered by experts working together around the globe. GeneTalk is providing them with the tools to communicate efficiently. In GeneTalk, all important data tracks are integrated. In ClinVar, one of the most important public resources, there are more than 150,000 mutation-specific annotations. However, for about half of them, the clinical significance is yet unclear. In GeneTalk, the user community can easily rate and comment each genetic variant. A synopsis of this information can also be used for filtering whole genome datasets. By this means, it's a piece of cake to identify the alleles in a patient that the majority of the expert community would classify as pathogenic. We hope to welcome you soon on GeneTalk.